Hi everyone, I'm Nimble Sloth, and in this video, I'm going to be building a replica ZX80 computer. Okay, let's get going. So I'd already done the unboxing in a previous video. Let's get rid of some of these bits that we don't need. I don't need the power supply right now. I need these components. We won't need the leads right now. Uh, I will need the instructions, but this, this can go to the side for now. The keyboard. We will need the motherboard. And that's it for now. Okay, so let's get this off. Right, let's lay these out to see what we've got. Okay, I won't need those just yet. Put them in the box. So what's really important with the diodes, they must be put in the correct way round. If you see here, there's a little black line. And this black line corresponds directly to, if you can see, let's point it here, on, on the board, you can see the little line there. Okay.
The chips must be inserted into the PCB the correct way round. At one end of the chip you'll see a small notch. This corresponds directly to the picture of the chip on the PCB. Quite often you'll find the legs on the chip need bending slightly to enable it to fit into the PCB. When you do this, lay the chip on its side with the legs pointing away from you and gently rotate it down and away from you. If necessary, repeat this process until the chip fits into the PCB. The reset switch has four pins. If you check the continuity with a meter, you'll find that when measured one way, the pins appear as a direct short, even if the switch is not being pressed. If you then check the continuity on the PCB, you'll find a short between two of the holes. When inserting the switch, ensure that you match the shorted pins of the switch with the shorted pins of the holes.
When you come to insert the regulator, the side with the writing is what faces out towards the power socket. You can see that I'm taking a while on deciding how best to mount the keyboard connectors. I think that I'm going to go with mounting them on the underside of the PCB at a slight angle. Since the pins aren't really long enough to push all the way through the holes and then bend the connector over at an angle, I'm just going to kind of sit them on the PCB and solder them in place there. I'm finding the keyboard cable a little bit difficult to insert into the connector, so I'm using some small pliers to help me insert it. The pliers I'm using don't have any kind of grip on them. I think that if you used pliers with grips, you'd probably damage this cable. Before I stick the keyboard down, I'm going to wait until I've fully tested the unit. <laughs> 